Hi, I'm Erin, Erin Lucy, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a long time coming. We went to New York City back in end of November, and I filmed just like a day in New York City, which was really fun. Very like New York City vibes. I kept a lot of the sound in too, so that it's like, I don't know, I feel like that's like part of the whole thing, the whole experience. Um, so that's today's video and I realized I didn't do an intro, so I just wanted to give a little explanation and at the end I'll put a timestamp in, but I talk about like what we did, uh, what I ended up getting and stuff like that. So yeah, excuse my hair at the end of the video, but I feel like it was not working for me, but yeah, um, I know I haven't been posting a ton, but I really want to get back into making more consistent videos this spring. It has just been like December was really nuts um, with the end of the semester, the class I was teaching and a lot of other stuff. I also had a conference beginning of January, so it's just been like kind of nonstop. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Yeah.
burn the past and the fire I know it will be okay We got a light like a sun Moving as one Shining the night away We stand in the silence And worries just fade away And just fight the bird Okay, so back from New York City, long back. <laughs> we are now back home in Utah, but I didn't really have time to film like a follow-up from New York City. So doing that now. It was an awesome trip. Uh, hopefully you just got to see a lot of fun clips. We went on, on the bus in the morning and we had tickets to the MoMA. Uh, the Museum of Modern Art at like 12. So we had the morning, we went to Pret, just got a quick cheap breakfast. And then um, we went to St. Patrick's Cathedral and the Lego store and Zara and just some like stops on Fifth Avenue. And then we went to MoMA, uh, super cool. A lot of cool exhibits. They had a lot of Picasso's um, Story Night 
and other cool stuff. So we did that for a couple hours and then we walked down Fifth. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. We stopped at Barnes and Noble on Fifth, um, which was really fun. I always love Barnes and Noble. Uh, but it was just a quick shop and we had to stop and we had some extra time. We were meeting somebody. So we stopped there, explored a bit. That was fun. Um, discovered that there's a new Maze Runner book, which we both didn't realize. So that was kind of surprising. And then we continued down through Union Square. There was like the Christmas like farmer's market type thing going on there. That was cool. A lot of cool flowers and shops. And then we went to the Strand. So it was kind of like my end goal down there, but my partner was having actually a meeting with one of his coworkers who lives in New York City. So he went and did that and I went to the Strand for a while, which was amazing. It's huge. There's so many things to explore and I love that there's so many like used books and can definitely, I'm sure, find some things that are kind of off the beaten path in there. There's just so many books. Um, so I got a few things from there that I'm gonna share. One was actually a gift for my friend, this little cute bookmark. She really loves plants, so I thought this was like a cute bookmark. And then two books, both from the Strand. First is The Best American uh, Science and Nature Writing from 2022. So I thought that would be really cool to read. I'm kind of in this place of like doing my research and science side but I've also been working for Utah Public Radio and doing a lot more science communication. So I thought that'd be really good to read. And then the second was definitely Impulse. I'd never heard of it before. Don't really know much about it. Is The Secret Network of Nature by Peter Wallenden, the author of The Hidden Life of Trees, which I have heard of. So I was really curious about this. It seemed to be a lot about like connection in nature, which is really interesting me. So I'll read a little bit of the back. Did you know that trees can influence the rotation of the earth? or that wolves can alter the course of a river, or that earthworms control wild boar populations. The natural world is a web of intricate connections, many of which go unnoticed by humans. But it is these connections that maintain nature's finely balanced equilibrium. Drawing on the latest scientific discoveries and decades of experience as a forester, Peter Wallenvin shows us how different animals, plants, rivers, rocks, and weather systems cooperate and what's at stake when these delicate systems are unbalanced. So both non-fiction kind of nature-y writing. Yeah, this one was also a pretty good deal. So <laughs> chose that. And then while we were at the Strand, there was also tons of other books, but I had to really, you know, rein myself in. I also, I really wanted to get a tote bag so I got this one. It says the Strand, established in 1927. Um, very like naturey and green, so I like that. And then the back is even more so. I just thought this one was really cute, like lots of trees and bears reading and mushrooms and deer and foxes, unicorn. So I thought that was so cute. There are so many options. Like the Strand is a great place to look for totes because so many, so many options. Yeah, so those are the things that I got while we were there. So from there, I went and I like met up with my partner and his like work friend and got some food. They were meeting at News Bar Cafe, which is really cute, just like a block on the other side or just a block away from the Strand. So, and it's very quaint and had good food. I had like this portobello sandwich, which was really yummy. And by that time it was getting kind of late. So we walked. I think it was like around 5 p.m. We walked to Chelsea. My partner's sister works at a gallery there, Taglia Latella Galleries. So that was really cool. Um, they have like a Banksy and uh, Andy Warhol and a lot of other cool things. Their big exhibit there right now is verified. So that was fun. Got to see some more art and see where she works. And then we all walked to the bus stop together. So it was a super fun day and highly enjoyed going into New York, New York City. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you're having a great day.